Okay, so everyone, uh, in my previous video, I've already shown everyone how can you do the registration and link your company with the uh, My Invoice Tax Portal. Okay, so now in this video, I will guide you on the next step, which is adding intermediary. So what is adding intermediaries? So I understand most of you here are AutoCount user and you're using AutoCount to submit your e-invoice uh, for to LHDN. Okay, so uh, in order to do this, you have to add us auto count as the intermediary means uh, you grant permission for auto count to submit e invoice on behalf of you. Okay, so to do this, you have to log in into your my tax portal. Okay, so remember to change uh, the role selection to your company, and on top of it, at my invoice, click on the pre port. So once you go into the my invoice portal, on the top right side, there's a small arrow. So click on the small arrow and you click on the uh, view taxpayer profile. It will link you to your taxpayer profile. So scroll to the most bottom part. The most bottom part is supposed to have a table uh, called representative, which I have three sections, user, ERP, and intermediaries. Click on the intermediaries uh, section and click add intermediary. So once you click on the add intermediary, the uh, intermediary page will appear. So a few things you need to input over here. There are three things, which is your team number, your uh, so-called yeah, BRN, business registration number, and the uh, name of the company. So these details, uh, you will need to input AutoCow's team, AutoCow's BRN, and AutoCow's company name. I have already provided as well in this PDF, this section, on top this section. Okay, so you just key in all these details accordingly. Uh, just to special mention over here, if you're using uh, the live portal, you can just key AutoCount and Jabba Hut. But if you're using the sandbox environment, I do special mention it, mention it over here. If you're using sandbox of my invoice portal, use the following name. You have to type this name. Do not type the actual AutoCount name. Type this AXXX underscore XXXXDN Hut. Okay, so after you type in this, click the search button. Okay, uh, you will see uh, some status over here. So to show you whether this company is still an active company or not. So just click continue. And the next part is for you to set the uh, effective date and permission. So when you want AutoCount to represent you to submit the invoice. So usually we will just put today's date because if you, let's say you want to set up uh, your connection to AutoCount today, we just put today, okay? And uh, represent until when? So we don't know. So if you do not want to always come into this portal and change the represent until when, uh, we just put a few years later. For example, here I put 2027. So in within these few years, I don't have to bother and come in to change this setting. Okay. And at the bottom part, there's some permission over here. Just take all the permission and just click add intermediary. So this is how you set up your uh, intermediaries in your My Invoice portal. So I can show in the actual uh, portal itself. So this is uh, My Invoice portal of uh, my company, TM Century Solution. So I just need to click on this small arrow over here. So click view taxpayer profile. Okay. So the uh, company profile will show uh, your team number, your everything. Okay. And addresses as well. So scroll to the most bottom part. Okay. And you will see a representative table. So uh, click into this intermediary. Okay. Uh, and click add intermediary. But I already added lah. So this one is just for you to see how it actually works. So click on this add intermediary. You just key in auto counts, uh, you know, everything. So because I already added lah. So you just key in, key in the captcha, search, and you just continue. It will look something like this. Okay, I just edit from my existing one. Uh, it will show something like this. Status, just continue. And you can adjust the representative date from when to when and enable all these uh, permission we can take this one to close and enable uh, disable and enable uh, and just click save okay so this is these are the steps that you need to do to add auto count as your intermediaries